guys, it's Fish Glow Boy 23 here. Today we're going to teach you how to take care of your fish. Goldfish or glowfish or any other tropical fish. So, for the glowfish and any other tropical fish, you would need a heater. Uh, um, a heater um, maintains the water temperature and it keeps it in, like, balance. Like, so say the fish needs to be kept in 78 degrees water. So, and it keeps it like that. So, that's highly recommended, but yet I don't have one. <laughs> so, and then you don't want to overfeed, changing the subject here, you don't want to overfeed. And if you do, you'll have a lot of gunky stuff in your fish tank, and the filter will get dirtier fast, and that's more work for you. And plus, your fish could, could die, because really, they don't stop eating until they're too full that, they're die, that they'll die. And the food that I have for Tropical is this. I think we showed this in one of our other videos. Yes. And then yes. So, um, also, for the goldfish, you don't need a heater. But you, you really don't need one at all. Just for Tropical Fish, which is any other fish but goldfish, is what I'm told by Petland. Goldfish prefer colder water. <coughs> yes. Well, other tropical fish, like 72 to 82, I think it is. But I don't know. I'm not a professional. And so you want to make sure you have a nice, sturdy, stable um, place for your fish tank. There's no... It can't fall over easily. Like, mine is shaky, but it's still sturdy enough. And so you got to make sure it's a clean, healthy environment. In my room. Yes, very clean and healthy sometimes. <laughs> um, and you also need to make sure you're responsible responsible enough to keep a fish. Fish handle or fish keep or fish care is hard, but it's easy. Like you have to do stuff on some days, and you don't have to do other stuff on some days. But you always have to feed them. I totally recommend when you get up and when you go to bed. Like me. I feed my fish at 9 every morning and 9 at every night. That's how I do it. And then, so, you make sure you're, or you're not, um, you're using healthy water. And, yeah. And some types of fish, like glowfish, for instance, and calico fish, need bubbles, air bubbles, that give out more oxygen. And others, like, like regular goldfish and be bettas, and guppies and stuff don't need bubbles and so but it depends on what type of tank you get so yes and make sure you have proper equipment for it like a net or as we use a spoon for noodles yes I know sounds kinda crazy but we do we use it and it works out fine we put my little baby in here with a noodle spoon so yeah and you need stuff like stress reliever when you put in fish. You need things like the um, AquaSafe or Start Right to make your tap water safer. And yeah, and you proper equipment is probably the most important thing. And sometimes I just highly recommend this if you're watching this video and you really want to fish but you don't, but you don't know where to start. Start with saving your money. That's all I ask. Start with saving your money. Like, me, I saved $80, and everything, all this equipment, costed about 40 to $50. It's expensive, but it's so worth it, because you just fall in love with your fish. And so, yeah, save your money, and make sure you don't have, like, say you only have $30, and you went to the pet store, and you showed up with $30, and the fish that you wanted, or the tank that you wanted was $32. Ask your mom and dad for money? No. You need to be responsible and save it. Do it yourself, is what my parents say. Do it yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, so. And if you want it to make it more, like, amusing than a regular fish tank, you can add plants in there, too. And different types of sands, rocks, and gravel. See, I have black ones with different colored neon shades, and when I turn off the lights, can you turn off the lights, please? Um, they kind of glow. You can't really see them but in this camera, but I promise you they do glow. And so does my fish. Turn on the lights, please. 
Um, and yeah, so air pump, saving your money, equipment, everything here is what you need. So, so about the equipment again, you make sure you have everything that you need. Like my dad was being awesome, and he bought all of our like my stress coat and food and stuff like that. Um, and but I spent my money on a tank and I spent it on a fish and it was really fun and if you're not crazy about fish you actually should be they're kinda fun um they're not always boring you, you have the choice you can make it boring fun or super fun I chose super fun because I just it's out of the ordinary exotic and it's a tropical fish and who doesn't love tropical fish um it's people who don't like tropical fish are people who do Exactly. <laughs> so, um, what are what are some good starter fish? Well, in my opinion, I would say um, some good starter fish would be a good old classic goldfish. Doesn't matter what type. Um, a glowfish, I would say, would also be a pretty I, good. I don't. Starter. I don't think glowfish are very good starters well, because they. Because no, yeah, I don't think they're very good. But this is my first fish, and I guess it's my starter fish. So. And I mean, without the heater in there, I mean, this room is fair, is pretty warm in here. Yeah, I asked my dad to keep the temperature up. So. And I mean, without a heater, he's been living here for how long now? He's been he's been here for about two weeks. So. Yeah. And, and look at how healthy and strong he is. He's been just. Every time I go. And with the lights off, he just glows. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, Want to see again? See, look, he looks happy and healthy, glowing nice and bright. Yeah. And that's good. You want your fish to be happy oh, and healthy. I don't, I don't think I said this in any other of my videos. But here's a fun fact about glowfish. The reason they are created is because scientists were making a fish that was supposed to glow when the water was put... Um, what the water was clean no the water when the water was polluted they were supposed to glow and when it was clean they weren't so it, it's either the other way around or the way I said it but I think that's really cool and um I've been eyeing these for some weeks and I just got them it's been a blast I love being a fish owner and if you want to start out with turtles and lizards I'd start with fish first, and when your and when your um, fish dies, you can go for a lizard, you can go for a spider, you can go for whatever you want. But fish first, please. But I mean, if you are a turtle, like if you've had turtles before, and, and you, you know how to take care of them, and you want to continue with that, great, fine. But I think like if you're a person who's never had fish before. Start with something simple, happy, and hearty, and stuff like goldfish. You don't, stuff. you don't necessarily, yes, you don't necessarily have to get glowfish or any exotic type of fish, but I'd actually start with the goldfish if I were you, even though I didn't, but. <laughs> but just start simple. Start with yes. something easy, and, and if you want to continue getting more fish, work your way up to getting something a little bit different. So, say you start out with the one gallon tank. Then you move on to three gallon tank, then five gallon tank, and then ten just, gallon tank. And you can just continue going up and up with the fish tank size. And with and the fish size, like so the person right here, another member of Fish Club One Two Three, she owned a bit better a few years back and, and he lived about I think like a year or two. So yeah, you gotta keep good care and that now she's gotten back into fish and she has two calico goldfish Callie and Calvin yes and they live very healthy lives and when when they die not to jinx it here but she would like to get a brain fish but well it's, I kinda really, really I don't want them to die I don't want I them know to die. I don't want them to die they're so cute I mean but if I were to get a brain fish with Callie and Calvin. I would progress into a bigger tank and maybe put like a separator in there for one half for Callie and Calvin and the other half for the brain fish because the brain fish can get pretty big. Yes, they can actually get like pretty big. Really big actually, but um I'm if I do get a brain fish, which I probably won't oh sorry there. Um um I probably won't get a brain fish even though they are super cute. Um, I would probably go for, I'd probably wait till all my fish die. Again, don't want to be a jinx. I don't want them to die, but 
every living creature has to die. So when they die, um, I would probably just put one brain fish in a three gallon half moon tank because just so they can grow pretty big. And if they do outgrow the tank, you can sell it or you can just go buy another tank. But every time you want to get more fish, and like, so for example, this three gallon half moon tank for my fish fits only two small goldfish. But if I were to get more, I'd need to progress into getting bigger tanks. Yes, so and like, that all adds up to cost, to adding up to be more money. I was doing math the other day, and I, I think that my tank right here, three gallon half moon tank, would probably fit maybe 10 to 11 glowfish if they were smaller ones if there are bigger ones like neon I think about seven six seven or eight glowfish for this tank but I don't want to overdo it there's five different colors so I'm go going to stick with five and then I'll get more as I go yeah. and yes so if you were in, in your fish years back seven years back now you want to try it again go for it but remember that you're still just a beginner and you probably forgot what you know about fish so here's another video about fish facts exactly <laughs> so. okay so thanks for watching check out some of our other vids on youtube bye bye, bye.